Hey there, Coach Devin here. We're going to talk a little bit about how, today about how you can make a tiny decision that can completely change your body. And, and I've experienced this myself recently. I've actually experienced it twice. Uh, so to give you some background on this, what's interesting to me always in fitness is the fact that if a little decision done repeatedly and consistently can absolutely change how you feel, how you, how you move, how you look, everything about you, you have your body fat percentages just from a small decision because those small decisions will grow over time. So to explain this a little bit better, uh, I'll give you a background story. I used to, on my way to work, I would eat a bagel. I mean, because, you know, I get up in the morning, I'm hungry, I eat breakfast, I get ready for work, I'm going to work, I eat a bagel on the way to work, right? And you know what? what's funny about it is you eat that bagel on the way to work and didn't think anything of it. And one day I decided that I'm going to look and see how many calories are in that bagel. I was eating Costco bagels, to give you an idea. I bought the Costco bagels at Costco. Uh, lots of people do. And that bagel was like 330 calories. And I was like, God damn, that's a lot of calories for one bagel. Now, to give you an idea, I just eat the bagel dry. I don't put anything exciting. Like, I don't put anything on it. I'm putting peanut butter or, you know, nothing. Just eating the bagel, going to work, drinking water. So I thought, okay, you got to make a decision on that, Dev. That's not that's not smart, right? That's that's those are 350 or so useless calories. That, what am I getting out of this? And over the course of a week, that's not good because 350 and 350 and 350 and 350 or whatever was 340. Let's call it 350 for now. So 350, and you've got five days a week of that. You're at like 1,750 calories every you know week and a half, two weeks. You're going to gain a pound. And how does that work? Well, if you have uh, an extra 3,500 calories in your diet over a consistent amount of time, you'll gain a pound of fat. That's that's how it works. If you want to lose a pound of fat, cut 3,500 uh, 3, calories out of your diet, and you'll lose it. That's that's the math. It's actually it's a science. It's super easy. So I did that, and I and I changed. I started doing cardio, a little cardio in the morning, and uh, you know got really lean. I, and the reason I did it was I wanted to show people that just because I, you know we we create changes at work, and I can change somebody's body a lot with you know training and, and diet advice. Hey, I can do this too. So it was from January, December thirty first. For like eight weeks, nine weeks, I did this, got super lean. It was as lean as I've ever been uh, without getting on a stage. So I was pretty pleased with that. We went to the Dominican, we came back, COVID hits, and then, you know, I get a staph infection in my back. Uh, and to give you an idea, a staph infection in your back feels like you're dying. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Uh, the internal, the infectious disease doctor told me, this is the most pain you will ever have. It is comparable to childbirth. And I was like, God damn, childbirth sucks. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was bad. And, and I went, you know, two and a half weeks, two weeks roughly without being misdiagnosed. And then finally I got, the, I was in the hospital for a week, came out of the hospital. I had a pick line in my arm, still have a scar right there. And uh, I had six weeks of antibiotics and then another 12 weeks on the pick line. And then another 12 weeks. So 18 weeks of antibiotics. Long time. And I'll tell you, with the antibiotics, they made me feel like crap. I mean, antibiotics are not the most fun in the world anyway, and the antibiotics did not make me feel good. I felt awful. Once I got on the, the pill antibiotics, well, even with the even with the pick line, um, the pick line antibiotics made my stomach upset all the time. It was always upset. So at night, when you're getting your second dose, your stomach goes, oh, it's just not feeling good. So I would like eat cereal because that made me feel a little bit better. Or I would eat toast. Uh, with peanut butter that seemed to help crackers and cheese anything that like starchy with some fat helped my stomach it made me feel better uh and then once i graduated and the pick line came out i was like yes i'm good i'll be able to you know exercise again and stuff well they put me on more antibiotics for another 12 weeks and those 12 weeks of antibiotics or pills I had to take one in the middle of the night you have to take well I technically didn't have to take it in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I, you can take it during the day. You had to take it four times, breakfast, lunch, supper, right before bed. Well, the problem was when you stack them that tight together, it destroyed my stomach. Like, I felt awful all the time. Just like, oh, my God, stomach hurting. I remember the second day in, I called the pharmacy. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I feel terrible, like absolutely terrible. So she said, well, try to space them out better. So I decided, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it with food. I was eating with food anyway, but I, you know, I decided, whatever, I'm going to eat it with food. And then I decided I'm going to space them out and I'll do one at like two in the morning. So I started doing that about one o'clock, two in the morning. I set my alarm, get up, have the pill, but then I had to eat something. So I'm eating cheese and crackers or cheese and, you know, crackers and peanut butter. 
something with drinking milk, something to give that base in my stomach with the carbs and the fat to, to, so my so I could go back to sleep. Because otherwise I'd go back to sleep and my stomach would ache and I couldn't get any sleep and that's not helpful for healing. So I added in, uh, you know, a fair number of calories. And did I track that? No, I didn't. I just ate, ate crackers and cheese or peanut butter or whatever I happened to be eating in the middle of the night because I felt crappy and I didn't really track it, didn't really care. I just wanted to feel better. That's that's where I was. And that's not, you know, I, I'm not a big, I don't track things all the time myself anyway, but you know what? I usually keep a pretty strict eye on where I am. I didn't care about it. It's the middle of the night. I'm exhausted and I just don't want to feel like crap. So, flash forward, I'm 18 weeks in, I stopped taking antibiotics, you know what, I'm waking up in the middle of the night and I'm hungry, everyday hungry. Now, I'm a guy, I get up in the morning and I, and I do cardio. I like to do some cardio, it wakes me up, you know, you burn two, 300 calories, you feel pretty good, if you're pushing, you're burning 300, if you're just roll, you know, riding a bike, you, you burn 200. And I realized, you know, Dev, you're getting on a bike every day and burning 200 calories, but you're still waking up in the middle of the night, eating food, and you're probably eating more than those 200 calories. I'm on like a perpetual field. You know, I'm on a, 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 a treadmill of bad things. This is not good. So I started to think about it. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? i try something and as a little uh, experiment. So my experiment went like this. I stopped doing cardio in the morning for about five days. I'm about five days in right now to give you an idea. And this is my experiment. I stopped doing all my cardio in the morning. And I said, okay, no cardio in the morning, but no food at night. You know what? I actually lost two pounds and got leaner. So I get up in the morning, I'm like, wow, I'm leaner. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is that I was eating more than the 200, 250 calories I was burning in there. I probably was eating more like 300, 400 calories in the middle of the night just because I was hungry and I had a bad habit. I had created a habit that was necessary here because I needed it for the antibiotics. But over here now, I don't need that habit anymore. Have this done. I, I, I don't need it. It's not necessary. It's not, it's not a, I don't need to do it, but I'm doing it because it's a habit. So I decided five days ago, cut it off. No more of that. Habit is done. I'm not doing it. So I had two nights and oh, hungry, waking up. You're kind of cranky, right? Because you're like, I want to eat. I want to eat. That's it. <laughs> You're used to it. Now I'm five days in. I'm waking up. I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. That's how quick it was. That's how fast you can change a habit. But this I think gives you a perfect explanation of how one little habit, getting up and eating in the middle of the night because you're hungry, can completely affect how your body looks and the fat levels on your body. I'm leaner now after five days. Now, is it crazy I look totally different? No, I don't look totally different, but I give it another two weeks, I will look very different. What's interesting here is that shows how you can have little tiny changes cutting out the food in the middle of the night, which I don't, now that I'm into it a bit, I don't even miss. Doesn't matter. Don't care. And I feel much better. I feel good. I get up in the morning. I'm actually getting a little more sleep because I don't have to get up and do the cardio. I'm going to continue this for about another week and see where it goes. Because in reality, I'm at a positive now. Now, down the road, what am I planning to do? Well, 100%. I'm going to go back to doing cardio in the morning, but I'm going to keep the food off. So no food at night, cardio in the morning, Guess what? Now, instead of being fighting that food in the middle of the night, well, guess what? Now, if I haven't eaten 400 calories in the middle of the night and I'm burning another 200, I'm, I'm plus 600. I'm 600 to the good. I'm 600 in the, you know, in the negative in reality. And my body will adapt hugely because of that. This just illustrates how easy it is to make a tiny change like eating in the middle of the night or getting up and doing cardio first thing in the morning. Or not eating right before you go to bed. If you're having a bowl of cereal every night before you go to bed. Having three glasses of wine, cutting it back to one glass of wine. Those little tiny things change your entire body. That's how easy it is. This is, you know, when, when you make a change in some people, it, it can be at times a huge change. An enormous change. But usually it boils down to little tiny things. Just do the little things right. And good things happen from it. I'm walking example of that. So if it can happen to me, it can happen, and I do this for a living. I'm a person. I'm a professional trainer, right? If I do this for a living and it's good for me, you can do it too. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. Most of my stuff comes from people writing me and saying, Devin, I have a question, a comment, whatever about that. 
So that's what I like to do. I like to answer questions. I don't really make money on YouTube. I have a video about that. I make about 19 cents an hour for the work I put in. This is about me giving back and giving information and helping people to get more fit. That's what it's all about. I've been doing this, doing this job for 26, very close to 27 years now. I just like to give back. It's an opportunity for people to see what I can do for them and, and for me to give back to the community. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.